You've heard of cheese curds and the Milwaukee Brewers, but do you really know anything about Brew City, Milwaukee? Today, we're gonna to talk about the pros and cons of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, some of the neighborhoods and some of the fun things to do. So my name is Chris Simoff. I'm with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services and I have made Northeast Wisconsin my home for the last 33 years. So today we're gonna to talk about the pros and cons of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So some of the pros of living in in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, are the access to Lake Michigan and all the wonderful water sports that go along with that. Uh, it's affordable, it's 12% cheaper than a comparable city in the United States, and that's taking into account housing and food and groceries and amenities. The job market hosts eight Fortune 500 companies. Those include Northwestern Mutual, Harley-Davidson, Rockwell International. It's an urban oasis. You have a thriving downtown scene in the Third Ward. You have world-class restaurants, you have a zoo, you have all kinds of opportunities to enjoy sports on a big stage. And in addition to that, they have the Baird Convention Center, which is 1.3 million square feet, and it's gonna be host to a lot of great upcoming events. So you have the option to go to huge conventions, enjoy the lakefront, you can enjoy Four Seasons. So those are all pros of living in Milwaukee. So some of the negatives of living in Milwaukee is, you know, if you don't enjoy winter, you joined don't enjoy lake effect snow, then you're probably not gonna like living in a city next to a great lake. Um, the winters can be brutal uh, and you can have a lot of snowfall. But the good news is Wisconsin knows how to deal with snowfall. With any big city, there are some crime concerns. Certain areas of Milwaukee struggle with higher crime rates. So it's important to research which neighborhoods you want to live in. Some of the great neighborhoods like North Point, River West has a 24 hour bike race and a festival, Historic Brewers Hill. You have Bayview views of Lake Michigan. Washington Heights has great green spaces. You have great public Montessori schools in Milwaukee. So checking out neighborhoods before you decide to move there is crucial. An opening price point would be under $300,000 to over a million dollars, obviously, if you're on the water in Milwaukee. Public transportation is improving, but you're still going to need a car to get around in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Property taxes, while well, housing is affordable, um, Wisconsin overall ranks 24th in the nation in property taxes. Traffic can be an issue when there's sporting events um, and weekends, people heading up north. Uh, some of the roads take a beating with all the bad weather with a freeze thrust, you know, cycle. Let's talk a little bit more about why it's a great option for you. Well, compared to Chicago, the average price in Chicago is $365,000. The average price in Milwaukee is $267,000. There's just some great neighborhoods that you can live in. Brewers Hill, Walkers Point, Yankee Hill, the Third Ward, River West, the most expensive zip code in Milwaukee is Waukesha County, specifically Whitefish Bay, where the average home price is 517,000. So in summary, the pros to living in Milwaukee are it's a, a great city in the Midwest that offers you know great entertainment, great shopping, great place to live and raise a family. You know, you can enjoy all four seasons, a lot of um, opportunities to watch professional sports team, and you know, the weather, the summers are glorious, the falls are beautiful. And if you like winter, it's spectacular too. Um, the negatives would be, you know, as with any city that size, you know, you're gonna have to be aware of your surroundings and, you know, be selective of your neighborhood. The positives are it's affordable. It's affordable and it's one of the most affordable cities in the country. So, is Milwaukee the place for you? Let me know in the comments below. Feel free to drop your questions about Milwaukee if you'd like to know more about any of the festivals or the events or the neighborhoods. Be happy to supply information on that. And let me know what city you'd like featured next in a video. If you'd like me to talk about certain neighborhoods in Milwaukee in more detail, we can do that. We're going to be going from city to city this summer in Wisconsin and love to hear your comments and feedbacks till next time.